New at five, thieves make off with 300 baby mink. It is a strange theft, and it's causing the farm owner a lot of grief. Todd Hicks is live in Sheboygan County with the very latest. Todd. Well, Stephen Carroll, you're right. I talked to the owner of that farm for a long time today. He tells me he's lost $40,000 and nearly 350 baby mink since the beginning of the month. They were missing uh, over a, at least a week's period of time. Captain David Adams won't say much about the 300 baby mink missing from the Dietrich Mink Ranch, but he believes the thieves have been back more than once. What leads do you have on the case? Uh, I won't comment on what leads. In the past, we have had animal activists that release adult mink. Uh, it does not appear to be the case. You can see what the farm looks like from Chopper 4 with Power Zoom. It's just north of Sheboygan. The man who owns it started noticing the babies missing from their cages. That's when he called police. The owner tells me he believes whoever committed this crime knew what they're doing simply for the fact they had to come in and snatch these 300 animals from their cages. The owner was too nervous to talk on camera, but I talked to him for a long time. He told me the person who took them knew what they were doing. He thinks they lifted a few babies from dozens of cages, hoping no one would notice. The mink, you know, at, at this age, they're barely able to walk. Michael Whelan works for the fur trade industry. He said it's very likely the babies have died. It's a real tragedy because they're not going to survive uh, once they're away from their mother. And coming up at 6 tonight, hear what investigators think could be a possible motive in those crimes. We're live in Sheboygan tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, we'd like to find out. Thank you very much, Todd. We have new